Hi guys, it's Geeky Market here. Today I'm going to be doing a review of OnLive. It's a cloud based gaming system where you can play games from the capabilities of their servers, so you won't really need a super fast computer to run high capacity games. So I'll just launch it now. You do need quite a fast internet speed, mine's only about 5 megabytes per second which isn't really fast enough but it does a job I can still play medium quality games no hustle. so this is just a loading screen and it will take me to my dashboard in a second I think I can skip through this okay so I haven't bought any games at the minute so if you buy games it will stay in here because I've been playing quite a lot of get, um, demos so if I just go to marketplace my favourite demo has been Hawks Tom Clancy's Hawks two press enter free, just go on the free trial free trial The games don't take that long to start up. Incoming, incoming. If you have a fast internet speed, mine's probably a medium internet speed, but the minimum internet speed that you need is 1.5 mega megabytes per second. Okay. Most trials you get a 30 minute trial time which is quite good but I would really like maybe just a few missions that you can do rather than a time so you can constantly do redo the missions because the maximum amount of time that you're allowed to redo the demo is about five times so I would just rather prefer one or two missions that you would be able to do Let's skip through this For a new story. Online is not available at the minute, but they're saying that it will be available within the next few months. Just skip that. So, clear to taxi to runway and await clearance for it is really responsive, if you, as you can see. So, I'll just do a quick response test. Um, you will be here when I press my keyboard. I don't think that's really a delay of the game, uh, of the connection between me and the game. I think I should just, just wait for the place to. I would, I wouldn't really recommend first sh um, FPS games because they're really awkward. When you're playing on online, I, I can't really put my ma mind to why it is awkward, but it's just not really up to like console standards or. Or gaming PC standards. So sorry if there's like long gaps in between my words and concentrating on the game at the same time. So as you can see the quality is not that bad. But would prefer a higher higher resolution. I would recommend this game if you're going to get on live, maybe buy it, uh, I think it was £12.99, so about $15. I, I have the game on Xbox and 
I have it on PC as well. So it's definitely a recommended game. Just catch up with my friendly combo. Oh, okay. Gunslinger 26, short stop. Contacts are not hostile. Say again, not hostile. Gunslinger 26, short stop. Your next objective is the road bridge northwest of your current position. It's a friendly OP located in the hills southwest of the base. Conduct a close approach and determine if it's still secure. But you've got to remember on live is free unless you want to buy a game, so I would probably give it a five no no not five about a nine point five out of ten rating. Just a few minor blips, but they can be easily sorted out with an update. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Short stop, Echo 4, new contact, 180 relative. Convoy of civilian trucks, number 9, heading for the base's north gate at high speed. Reaction force units are en route to challenge the incoming vehicles. Provide support as needed. I'm gonna catch up to these. I think this is where the first battle starts. Copperhead 1 1, short stop. Gunslinger 2 6 is on station and standing by. Copperhead 1 1, copy. as well in the review now so definitely get the game I don't see why you shouldn't well not the game the online it's, it is a future of gaming without a doubt so I don't you want to keep up with the latest trend uh, there have been rumors that GTA 5 will only be released on like on cloud gaming so if you want to play that game I would recommend getting online okay thanks thanks up forget to comment rate and subscribe 